Ferguson from Cooley. Catherine, how do you change the world? We all get one shot to change the world. It's what are you doing? One shot to change the world by impacting the person right in front of us. One person at a time. What are you doing to change the world? Great day in DC. You don't see these cloudless blue skies very often. Now we're at the offices of Social Tables, one of the really hot startups here in DC. Howdy, how are you? Working at Social Tables. I love working at Social Tables. You love it? And what do you do? I work right under Don, I'm his assistant. All right, well, you guys have had a nice run, so congrats. Thank you. This? Oh, yeah. Are there a lot of skateboarding uh, uh, activities going on? Ooh. Oh, you have a hoverboard? Yeah. Do you know how to use it? Catch on fire. I have never been on and this it. is David Green with Bernstein. <laughs> themed rooms. What's your favorite theme room? Well, this one's Fifty Shades of Pink. Ah, What's with nice. the pink? That's our brand color. Okay. Pink is our brand color. Sales group. Back in the day, the sales team would be really loud, you know, when phone calls were the way to do yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. Now it's all, it's like silent. <laughs> Don, how are you? This is Don Berger. The man of the hour. How yes. are you, bro? Nice Good to see you, man. See you Congrats too. on everything. You want to shake hands or? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> up to now. I don't measure success with employees. No, I know, but I'm just curious. From a real estate 120. Standpoint. 120? Yeah. Great. It's about 200 square feet per person. Really. Excellent. Okay. Success. In five uh, seconds or less. Um, whether I create additional leaders. I love that. I feel the same way. I feel the same way. I really do feel the same way. Probably about 4,000 customers. Two thirds of them are hotels and venues, like the Ronald Reagan Building, the museum, the Canadian Embassy, the Convention Center, and they use. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, it's yeah. Great to be here. And uh, the prosperity that you're seeing in the city, we have every reason to think that it's going to continue to grow. Uh, the growth we're experiencing is dramatic. I uh, next last uh, 15 months, and we're going to keep pushing on that, um, on those themes, but also on that work in the voucher administration. So uh, I'm so grateful. Oh, I just how do you, got it. How do you measure success with Snapchat? Well, we just got it. So, so. I think it's not even a week old. <laughs> and so we'll, we'll measure it, though. I can probably. Like, this is a wonderful room called Grandma's Room. Grandma's going to be good. Oh, is that tight? Yes, and we love social tables. Yes. Yep. Kitty cats. And we Here we are approaching the beautiful old post office building, which is now Donald Trump's new hotel. Here we are on the campus of Georgetown University. This is the brand new sciences department building. And this is the business school. Here we are. Uh, this is the Hariri building, the business school building. And I'm running into my buddy Jimmy Lin, Professor Jimmy Lin. What do you Follow say, your Jimmy passion, Lin? Do what you want to do. Don't listen to your parents, your professor. Do what you want to do. Follow your passion where your heart is. It's all going to work out well. Just well, thanks, follow Jimmy. Your In my 11th year of teaching you. Was. You sports love it? You yeah, you love it. We, uh, it's the most first, popular course on campus. When I first got here, no, only sports uh, you class on the whole campus. Uh, we are in the Hariri building, here to judge the student entrepreneur competition. It's a great piece of real estate here. So Love Grove and Jeffrey, they run entrepreneurship here at Georgetown. So we're going to have a big night tonight? Oh, yeah. Awesome. I'm excited. Thank you for having me. Awesome. Always yeah. glad to have you. This is Kevin, who's in the School of Foreign Service. He's a senior. So, why do you want to start a business right out of school? Uh, that's a very good question. I have just, I don't know, I've always have wanted to start a business, and I just never thought it was seeing a combination of factors like 
this entrepreneurship class, the Tebliansis Prize, and just like a good Georgetown support system made me realize that it did not constantly push it back. Great. And you're moving forward with your dream, right? Yeah. That's you're right. not taking the traditional path, the boring path. I'm not doing consulting. All right. Have a one-page or a two-page executive summary or an eight-page deck to go with the full business plan. Business plans are not that respected anymore yeah, because it's an academic exercise, essentially. Mm -hmm. That's what, literally it's our What's on that board there is what really matters. Things. Yep. The pain point, the solution, the market size, your competitors, how you're going to go to market. Of Hitch? Yeah, Hitch What's is, going on? Hitch is still running around town in almost 2,000 cabs, and please use the DC Taxi app if you get a chance. All right. Uh, Tony Court here with the uh, I can't speak candidly for that. Okay, head of the Digital DC Tech Fund, which has expended all of its money and hopefully served its fund itself. Sure. It was a great opportunity to help DC-based entrepreneurs, including women and people of color. Folks that are recipients of the funds had to agree to move to the 7th Street Technology. Did they? So it all worked they all her. did. How many total companies were there? There were 140 a couple dozen were, recipients. Were grants, so it was free money. Good. Ultimately, a million dollars went out on the street to help entrepreneurs build their businesses. Great. Well, thank you thank for your you. help. Thank you. There's a growing problem among college age students and young adults in general, and that is that they are no longer visiting one bar or one club per night, but rather they are going from a few other apps and websites which are attempting to provide services similar to Lewis, although they're doing so uh, without many of the same. The day's coming to an end. Great experience doing all these Snapchat story uh, entries. It takes a lot of concentration to stay present as well. That was a crazy busy day. The highlight was definitely seeing the great pitches from these students, the enthusiasm, the passion, the focus. I love the raw optimism that these young entrepreneurs have. You know, it's a can-do, they can run through a brick wall. Failure is never even considered. Best line of the day was when I asked Kevin, what happens if he fails, what's the worst thing? Thinking he was gonna say I could just get a job. He said, hey, if I fail, I'll just do another startup. Gotta love that. I like walking through the corridor here because it's the Georgetown University Athletic Hall of Fame with plaques of all the great athletes that have been here and done terrific.